Hello everybody, this is Hank. I'm back today to talk to you about potential gotchas. Um, when you have a your focus point at a different place from your metering point. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, what you're looking at is the screen out of my camera. Right now I have it set to aperture priority mode, AV mode, where you get to control the camera aperture and ISO if you want to uh, versus the camera controlling the shutter speed for you. Okay, so just quickly I'm going to set the the ISO to be something like 800 just to keep it out of the way. Okay, um, I'm mounting on this camera uh, an EF um, 50 millimeter f 1.8, the so-called Nifty 50. Um, so because I can, I'm going to set the aperture down to 1.8. Okay, so now if I press the shutter button halfway, the camera is going to show me um, the uh, speed that it's using, which is 1 80th of a second or one one hundred of a second for for this shot, right? Okay, um, before I show you this, I'm going to make the problem a uh, little worse by changing the metering mode as well as the autofocus mode. Okay, the autofocus mode right now, um, well, actually, autofocus mode is fine. Uh, I'm using just a spot method, which, which is okay. It doesn't really matter. But what I want to do is to change the metering mode to something um, that can show the problem, exaggerated problem, more than anything else. Is a spot metering. Okay, so now. Um, with this here, okay, when I press the shut button halfway, um, the camera does two things. The camera is going to focus and the camera is going to measure the light. Can you see the gray circle there? That is where it does the metering. Okay, the square, that's where it does the autofocus. And as you can see, they match each other pretty well. And that's the default right now so now it's fine if I put the dog in the middle but but what happened if I wanted to make it a little more interesting can I move the dog over here and this is a picture I want to compose so now as you can see my mirroring is wrong and my focus point is wrong because I'm pointing it to the wrong place correct now I can move the focus point to wherever I want it by just touching where I want to do right in this example because I'm using the screen to show you I, I can't my LCD doesn't work in this mode so but in the, in the back um, there's a button that I can press now I can move the focus point that's not a problem so you move focus point here, right? Okay. Now, what about the metering point? Well, the problem with most Canon cameras is that I cannot move the metering point. It's stuck in the middle. Okay, unless you have a 1DX Mark II or, or newer, uh, you cannot move it. It's fixed. It's in the middle. So now, as you can see, I can focus on the dog, no problem, except that my lighting is completely wrong. Because it's me measuring in the back, in the middle, in the back, and the back is a lot darker, so it it thinks that I need more light. Now it's overexposed the dog completely. So there's the gotcha that I wanted to show you. Okay, So here it's gone down to one... Thirteenth of a second instead of one one hundred. You see, that's a huge issue. 
at least three stops right there. Okay, so now how do you solve this problem? Now there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way that 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 Canon must have intended us to do is so they provided an asterisk button in the back. Okay, uh, for the purpose of freezing the exposure. So the method to solve this problem is that I move the metering point to where I want. Okay, as you can see that it it does a measurement and it looks pretty good. So now I press the star button and when I do that what I did is I froze the exposure temporarily for eight seconds. And so I can go over here and then I can take a shot. Okay, and it will preserve Okay, the exposure that I had ample. Okay, and, and that's why there's a dedicated button just to do that because of the problem with the discrepancy between the metering point versus AF point. When you have significant light differences, then you have to do something about it. But I usually don't use an asterisk button. As a matter of fact, I reprogram the asterisk button to do my depth of field in one of the other episodes. But, um, and what do I do then? Okay, in this case, okay, what I do is to use exposure compensation. And to do exposure compensation on a Canon RP. And first, you, you got to kind of activate it by pressing the shutter button once, like so and then use the mode dial in the back, I mean, in, um, and then turn it to the left and uh, and decrease it. Do a, and when I do that, it modifies the shutter speed because I'm in aperture priority mode. The only thing I can control is, the, is let the camera control the shutter speed. Okay, so now I can, I, I can take a shot. And my picture would be properly exposed. Okay, so um, that's why exposure compensation is pretty popular method. Obviously, um, you know, for a Canon, all you have to do is press the two buttons, one button, and then the dial, just to dial it down. Now, in some cameras like Sony A7 series, for example, they have a, a full round dial dedicated to nothing but exposure conversation. And I think Fuji does that too. So a lot of cameras put a lot of emphasis on it. And it's all because of this discrepancy in where the metering is versus where the AFO point is. Now some camera gives you the option of setting the metering point to match the, the focus point. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, unless you have a 1D, 1DX, um, you can't do that. They all metering in the middle, so you have to use either the, the asterisk button or the exposure compensation to solve this problem. Okay. Uh, with that, I uh, hope this is a help to you, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.